हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर कल्पना एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मेसी लेसन मेड इजी द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज रेफ्रिजरेशन सो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट इट टू बिगिन विद वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म रेफ्रिजरेशन एक्चुअली इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ लोवरिंग अ सब्सटेंस टेम्परेचर बिलो इट्स सराउंडिंग्स लाइक इन दिस स्लाइड वी कैन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ आइस गेटिंग मेल्टेड राइट सो इट इज ट्रांसफरिंग इट्स इट्स इट इज एक्चुअली नॉट ट्रांसफरिंग हीट इट इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग हीट फ्रॉम इट्स सराउंडिंग्स दैट इज एयर अराउंड इट राइट सो इन दैट शेल द एयर विल गेट कूल्ड एंड the ice will take heat and get melted right so this will be the exchange of heat from one body to another one the same way if we take a glass of water or lemonade if we put ice cubes inside it what will happen the ice cubes will take heat from the surrounding water right and it will get melted in the other hand what will happen with the water the water will get cool down right the same happens with air if air is in it, in its surrounding right so i have shown these two figures just to understand and compare the two situations in which ice is coming in contact with normal atmosphere and in the second case it is coming in contact with liquid water or lemonade right So I hope you understood uh, the concept. What is actually refrigeration, right? So how will we quantify it? I mean, how much uh, the simplest form of refrigeration which we observe in our daily life? How to quantify it, right? So it is usually quantified by a unit which is known as ton of refrigeration. So one ton of refrigeration is actually rate of removal of heat from the surrounding equivalent to the heat required for melting 1 ton of ice in one day right so to uh, make it in a simple uh, way here is a picture i can uh, i guess you are able to see the ice which is getting converted to water and which is coming uh, getting converted into water vapor from stage 1 ice to the stage water liquid water we have to add 80 calories the process is called melting right and the reverse process of converting water back to ice is freezing that will remove 80 calories so latent heat of fusion will be 80 calories right so if we warm the same water from 0 degree to 100 degree celsius okay then this 100 degree celsius water will get converted into water vapor by taking 540 calories but for the conversion of 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius water at the same state liquid state it requires 100 calories right when water is liquid then from 0 degree to 100 degree celsius it takes 100 calories to get heated up to 100 degree celsius right so uh, if we evaporate this 100 degree celsius water to water vapor form we have to add 540 calories to convert it into gaseous form right and this water vapor on condensation will get converted into the liquid vapor by removing 540 calories so these uh, 540 calories will be utilized as latent heat of vaporization so a very simple representation is if we are uh, if the latent heat of ice is taken as 336 kJ per kg then 1 ton is equivalent to heat removal at a rate of 14000 kJ per hour right i hope uh, you have understood the concept of 1 ton of cooling now uh, where do we apply this term refrigeration in pharmaceuticals i mean what is the significance of studying the principle of refrigeration basically uh, in many of the chemical reactions when we need the removal of heat so refrigeration principle is applied it is also used for the preservation of heat sensitive or thermolabile substances or products 
like uh, insulin pituitary hormones vaccines uh, it is extremely important uh, to store blood products such as whole human blood at a low temperature as much low as possible uh, and it should be above the freezing point actually right it is also utilized uh, to liquefy processing gases in the uh, chemical reaction or fermentations it is also required for product purification for the separation of vapors after distillation process for the purification of product to separate vapor after distillation processes and selective freezing or freeze drying right and selective freezing of one component out of a mixture right so uh, in this video we have understood about the concept of refrigeration what is the meaning how do we quantitatively determine what is the unit of refrigeration and where do we apply this term in pharmaceuticals i hope you will like this video uh, the upcoming video would be of refrigerants and its types right if you like please click on the like button do subscribe my channel and share it on social media thank you